The design of the GAT is a little professional because it had to be modeled on the way that the actual test is happened. It has three stages. The first one is preliminary where you face the exam in the form of the uh, objective type questions. All of us know that all the competitive exams are formatted like that. So it familiarizes a student with that format so that when it actually comes to sitting in an exam, the student doesn't get stressed or doesn't get nervous or doesn't make mistakes. So that's one thing. The second stage of the GAT is more exploratory. There are exams where you have to describe things, where you have to reflect your understanding, where you have to prove the conceptual prowess of yourself. So this stage of exam, which is the means where you have to write things, where you have to elaborate things, where you have to prove that you have a knowledge basis that you understood, that is the second stage of the GAT. The third one is a, an interaction kind of a, a stage where student actually comes across as a person. In the first two stages, the prelims and the mains, one doesn't know who the student is and the student doesn't know the person they have to face finally. So in these interactions, student is, is, is faced with a team of experts where he performs well and it gives a confidence, it exposes a student to a variety of things so that up ahead when a student applies for different posters, when he goes into the corporate sector, when he meets uh, persons of uh, eminence or when he meets the teachers who matter, he is more confident and he knows how to communicate.